Alright guys, I decided it. We're gonna be a Merlin today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fuck. No, 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 oh no. Uh-oh. Phew. Now it's about now that we that we noticed that the Merling is probably one of the hardest origins of all time, but at the same time it's also one of the best. You see, the Merling is an origin where basically you're a fish. Although in Merling culture, it's it's considered like a slur to call a Merling a fish. I guess that's how it works. Now, so you see, Merlings are obviously like very delicate creatures, you know. But there's also many ways that the Merlings. Uh, can actually thrive on land, like me. I'm a merling right now, and I'm thriving on land just, fa just fine on my own. Sure, sure, being a merling by yourself without any help whatsoever is kind of a hard thing, because merlings are mostly dependent on, on other origins to help them, and to get them stuff for them, because they're, cause they, and because they're ungrateful. Uh, but other than that, merlings are probably one of the best origin out there. So today, we're, today I'm going to be showing you the ultimate guide to being a merling and how to stay alive. With the help of people, that is. I'm currently here in Lightwood, a city built to for origins of all different kinds. And this is my house. I, and I'm a merling. I live on land. How? How could that possibly be? A merling who lives on land and doesn't like going in the water? How is that even possible? Well, it is possible because I'm doing it. Here we have, here is is how I've survived this long on on this server. This is a multiplayer server, by the way. I did not build this all by myself. In here we have a conduit. If this is how Merlings build their conduits, they they build this space and they put a conduit inside it, and boom, you got water breathing. It's it, it's been done all around the server. And no see in Lightwood since a ton of Merlings live here. Not as many that not not as many as all the others, because most other Merlings live with all the other Merlings in their goddamn fucking ocean. <laughs> Imagine living in the ocean, bruh. So over here we have another conduit because you can never have enough conduits. Here, you got this conduit right here. It's a very nice conduit. I got I have to say, very beautiful, very very textury. And so, we, and so, if we go through here, we'll see that we find another conduit over here. So, uh, if you haven't noticed already, this place is full of conduits. Because of the Merlings who live here. Duh. And so... Well, and so, this is one of the solutions. If you're in a survival multiplayer, I'm looking at you, Nikki. I keep telling you, I keep telling you guys that that this is how you're supposed to do it. And you guys keep saying, you can't put them in water. But you can. It's it's possible. I've, I've lived on it. Another solution to uh, breathing over above water is getting these uh, the, a turtle shell helmet. It's 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 completely like the, the best thing you can ever have. Another solution is also having a water bucket with you at all times. You see, in Merlin lore, uh, Merling children are given a water bucket at the age of seven. So if you don't have one, you obviously didn't have parents growing up. You see, I'm currently heading out of the water because the water sucks. I'm heading to a place where we don't have we you you don't we don't have water breathing, and I'll just take my turtle shell helmet off because I have no self-respect for myself. All right, here we are, in a place where. I have no, I've got no conduits, aka I don't have any life support, but uh, we're here and I'm going to take my turtle shell helmet off. So basically all I can do is just stand here and keep placing the water bucket and I'll be fine. Even on the verge of death, I'll just place it down my water. It's honestly the perfect solution. I don't understand why no one else thought, thinks of this. You see, once you get once you get a water bucket, Merlings are obviously the most OP. Cause like once you get a water bucket, your only con is kind of salt.
Oh, fuck. Fucking shit. Hey, my speed run. It's gonna be a lot faster. No, nothing good. No, lol. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ow. My speed run was ruined because of a, a ship. That's bait. Honestly, you could just find a, cr a ship and get iron from that and then... Boom. There you have it. I would also recommend for all, 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 all of you Merlings out there to try and get a trident. It's honestly, like, the one weapon that Merlings uh, do the best at using because they're really fast with them underwater. And, um... And when fighting underwater, you got an advantage, especially against Blaze Ones and Indirians. When in Cal when 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 I was a small little tadpole in the goddamn Merlin colonies, we would get we would get attacked by Endarians and Blazeborns, and we would just move into the water, and they couldn't get us. If they tried to get into boats, we would just break the boats, and they die in the water in agony. Another another Merlin perk. Oh, what the fuck is that? Another Merlin perk is not being uh, hurt by pufferfish. I noticed this once I walked into the goddamn, uh, once, once I walked into a, uh, a coral reef. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to say coral reefs because it gives me bad memories. But once you walk in there, you realize you're not getting stung as much as you're supposed to. So you, you immediately realize that the puffer fish do not hurt you. It's honestly, like, a re it's a really good thing. We keep... Back in the mer back in my day, we would keep pufferfish as as like a defense mechanism. Watch, they don't they don't puff up around us, but they will puff up around anyone else. Let's go cause some havoc. We're gonna go cause some havoc. We're going to go attack someone viciously. We need to find someone first. So I'll get back to you guys once I find someone in this way. You see, here we have a perfect specimen, an Elytrian. I hate those guys, but okay. We're going to... We're just going to do this, you know. And there we go. <laughs> there we go, a perfect attack mechanism that, that, that poisons them and they're helpless. So there you have it. Pufferfish are the ultimate chads in this story. Now, another Merling problem is not going to Nether. The Nether is honestly like hell, is actually hell for Merlings, unlike how most people say. A solution to this is water breathing potions, but they only last for like eight minutes tops. Um, but that's still enough to probably get through the nether enough. If you have a lot of them, you can probably go netherite mining. You see, I got all of these, I got all of this, um, I got all of these, uh, netherite from all the people who were, who, who I bought them from. Where the fuck have got my properties from? Uh, it's chasing. So, if we go into nether here, into my beautiful portal. Oh, I like that reflection. We, we can see here that I'm starting to... Yeah, I'm now starting to lose bubbles. I, I guess, I, I'm now starting to lose it. So, I can just start heading anywhere if I wanted to, but the thing is, I'm not gonna last long enough. Because everything's a little bitch. But, uh... Like, the server has found ways to, like, prevent Merlings from dying, but it's honestly not enough. Like, Merlings want to go netherite mining, so they drink water breathing potions. Because it's, like, the only thing that ever helps. Now I can walk around wherever without having to have any problem whatsoever. It's not enough, though, I guess. So, honestly, my final... So my final words about Merlings is that they're an amazing origin. Great abilities, uh, being in the water is honestly so beautiful. 
and it's just it feels so nice in the water. Uh, there are a few downsides, but the downsides can easily be solved if you have people helping you. I'm talking, I, I'm, th this entire video was made for the purpose of talking to you, Nikki. Nikki, you... This, this, I, I made this video to help you. To help you and all your friends... Finally do make, do good in Origins. And to honestly start working together a lot more to help you uh, get out of water longer. Please uh, like and share this video so that Nikki sees this. It's honestly going to help uh, the Origin SMP so much if this happens. Because Nikki's going to finally, see, well, everyone's going to finally see what is going to happen. Like, how to, how to solve Nikki's water problem. There's going to be a f more episodes of this, like, reviewing Endyrians and Shulks and all that kind of stuff. Um, but for now, that's all that, for this video. Uh, please subscribe and like. Please. I need- they need to see this. Really need to see this.